Hello everyone, this is Al from Aquaponics and uh, recently I had a, a colleague ask me about uh, the grow beds and the bell siphons and, and what I do for mine and I thought rather than try to explain this on the phone it would be much better if I do a small video and quickly go over what I have. Uh, some of you will remember that I buy these sort of cheapo planters here. They all come um, with two holes at the bottom, which you just, you know, silicone up with a bit of plastic. Then you got a cover. Then you add your uh, hole through for your your belt siphon. And the stand pipe here, along with this, uh, what is this, 20, 20 to 30 millimeter extension. Uh, that determines the height of your water table in your grow bed. Um, the reason why it's expanding at the top is it's easier to get the bill started because more water can flow through over because this, you have a wider surface area that the water can go through before it hits a narrow part of the pipe that creates the initial suction that gets everything started. Um, and there are many bills out there and there are many ways to do these. Uh, there's no one right type. For me, this works well. Simple 50 millimeter pipe, top cap. And uh, in order to break the siphon efficiently, I create a I just drill a small hole at the bottom so it can start sucking in air so you don't get the the constant suction when it's at the bottom. And we'll get to this in just a second. Now, as you can see, this is not super efficient, right? Pulling in air, but luckily, most of these planters come with these nifty net bottoms. And this is great because if you have this over your bottom here, and uh, actually I just forgot I put these stems in here. I will add these here just to make sure that the the weight of whatever I put in these is not pushing uh, unequally down on this net bottom. Like I said, it comes with this nifty net bottom. Once you got that is in there, it can take a lot of weight. And um, that means that whatever water flows through all your media will get to the bottom below here where there's no obstructions and can easily then get um, to the actual bell. This means that once I put my top bell siphon, uh, stand pipe in, my bell siphon on top of this, uh, I don't need to worry about water coming in through a, an exterior pipe um, because everything just goes from below. And uh, the reason why I can get away with this is I use these internal planters. So essentially, you know, a box within the box. Obviously, all of these planters, with the, the grow media in them, uh, have holes in the bottom as well. So when the water rises, um, yeah, they fill up, obviously. Uh, but it also means that I don't need to worry about uh, water, roots, etc. going into the bell because it's all contained within these. So this will fit one on either side. And then if something needs more light than, than others, then I can just swap them around, swap them to different grow beds in the system. Uh, and it makes it easy to maintain as well. Uh, so, like you can see, it's also easy to take everything out, clean everything out, um, and which is something that I do once a year before the season sort of kicks off. So that's the idea. Uh, below, I have a pipe coming down, a quick 90 degree and a quick 90 degree. And then that just sloping down a little bit. That's really good. Think of it as like a water slide. Once you hit a bend on a water slide, you end up up the side of it. The water will do the same thing and then close off the actual center for uh, for air that might skate back up and break the siphon. So that makes it easy to start the siphon. And it means that because this is bendable in the direction that I want it to, I can put this down at an angle so that once the siphon starts, it's fairly quiet. It's all, reason. <laughs> it's all relative, but uh, you'll hear this in a minute. Now, obviously, it takes a bit of extra time to fill this up now that there's nothing uh, nothing else on this side, but um, I'll pause here for a second. And as you can see, it's pretty much filled up. Let's just stop this for a second. All right, so again, this will initially flow over the standpipe, create the suction at the top of the bell, and the bell will empty out all the water within the uh, grow bed. And it should just take a couple of seconds. You can hear it starting to drip here, then it won't be long. It should get to 
see it in a second. And it has started and it's in full motion. And you can see that I can try and pull on the belt here. I can really feel the, uh, the suction here. So this works quite well for me. It may not work for all, but um, I think this is a good way to do it. it gives you a lot of control uh, and it gives you the ability to make everything modular. And the bit itself will empty out normally in something like 20 to 30 seconds. It takes about two minutes to fill up. So it's a pretty good flow. Um, this will obviously go even faster if there was one more uh, rope bit in here or one more planter uh, with media in it as it would be half the volume. That would make it even faster, of course. But there you go. Let me just shut this off for a minute. And the bell is now almost emptied out. There's almost no noise the actual and you know, unless you get to the very last bit, which is the burp, as I call it, when the bill sucks in there to break the siphon. And there's the burp, and that's it. It's done, and it'll start refilling up until it overflows into the top of the bill again. Thanks for watching.